Big tarpon. Got a big tarpon. Head waking in front of us. See if we can toss the mini mullet up and get him. We're on. You're just pulling the pulling the paddle board. I don't think it's a tarpon. I don't think it's a tarpon. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I think we got a big redfish on. Not a giant, but a good size for sure. Big redfish. Just cruising the shoreline on the paddleboard. Thought it was a tarpon. A nice size red though. Not a giant, probably like a 30 incher. He's just pulling me towards a gator. Which I don't like, you know? Gators aren't fun. Let's see if we can go that way. Not a bad red. I think he's way out there. Should be good. Let's just go ahead and get this guy. Keeps towing me around. It's a good size red, for sure. <laughs> See if we can land him. Oh, that is a big red. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Let's go. Right in the corner of the mouth. What a slob. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> right there. Let's go. What a giant to start off the morning. She's around 36 inches. Or 35, I'm sorry. 35. Good morning, guys. We'll be quick here. Nice little 35 to start off the day. Super nice redfish. 
Put your mom right there in the corner of the lip. Let's go and get her back. Okay. Got the mullet out. One last look at her. Beautiful fish to start off the morning. Let's go ahead and spin around. She's ready. She's ready, but I just want to be sure. Oh yeah, there she goes. Let's go. Let's go. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another banger. I'm gonna try to be quick here because we got a bunch of fish around us. We're out in the paddleboard uh, fishing some flats today. As you can see, we already got hooked up on a nice 35 inch red. We're gonna go ahead and keep throwing the mini mold around. There's a bunch of fish head waking, like I'm saying, so I'm shaking right now. I apologize, but we're gonna get back out there and uh, I'm going to get stick, we're going we're to get back out there and try to stick some more fish. If you're new to the channel and enjoy this type of content, please do hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed today's video, please do hit that like button as it does help us out a lot. Let's go get some more fish. So while I'm chasing this other head waking fish, I'll tell you guys what happened with that last red. As I was cruising down, just getting to the spot, there's just a big fish tailing in front of me and I, I assumed it was a tarpon. I casted the mini mullet on it. He smoked it and he went airborne, so I really thought it was a tarpon. I found him again, got it behind it, tossed the mini mullet, and he absolutely crushed it, but it ended up being red. And there's an even bigger fish in front of me. This fish looks like a giant. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna see if we can get it. Could have been black drum or redfish, I'm not really sure. But I spooked them, so. No! Jag was too loose a bit. Didn't stay pinned. There are lots of tailing reds around, so I want to see if I can get one more red. And then I'll probably push up on the bank, super shallow, and we'll start skipping for some snook. School of Jacks? School of Jacks on the flat? What the heck is this? Got him. They're, they're jacks on the flat. That's crazy. Look at them all. <laughs> I 
That's crazy. I didn't know they were here. Wow. Tiny little jack. Go find your school. A lot of fishy activity going on this flat. Lots of bait going on. Lots of mullet running around. Just want to see if I can get one more red, but I'm thinking about to start looking for the snook. Got him. No! What? The thumper came unpinned. No! I had him for sure. That sucks. I saw a nice red just tailing and I picked up the thumper shrimp and I tossed at it. He immediately picked it up. I don't know if my drag was too loose or what, but he just pulled the hook, which does suck. I was definitely tight with him, but there is a big school of fish coming down the bank right now, and I'm pretty sure it's this, this uh, school of black drum I've been behind all day. So we're actually just going to let them work their way to us, and we'll toss the, the thumper shrimp at them because they actually may eat that compared to the, uh, the mini mullet. We have a way better chance of catching. I don't even know if anybody's ever caught a black drum with a mini mullet. It'd be kind of crazy. These guys just do not want to eat. Big red fish. Probably like another 30, 35 inches. Uh. The jack. Fish coming at me fast. There we go. There we go. I don't know what that is. That's just a big jack, I think. It is just a big jack. Dang it. Thought it was a tarpon. I mean, a fish is a fish. Don't get me wrong. But. No idea these jack were in this flat like this. He's just gonna keep doing circles around me. There we go. Got some drag screaming at least. Can't can't be mad about that. These little runs. There was another another nice little red head waking. And I just spooked him off. Guess he didn't want the thumper shrimp. I saw this jack coming down the bank. He crushed it. Come here, big guy. I just think that's just so weird, catching jacks in the flat. But I'm sure most people do it all the time. There we go. There we go. Another nice red fish. 
not go anywhere so we don't scare away the other fish, but... Thumper shrimp got it done right in the top of the lip. Nice little red. Probably like a little, I don't know, like 20 incher. 20 incher and a dot. 21, 22 incher. Beautiful little red. There's a bunch more tailing. So let's see if I didn't spook them. We can see if we can get a bigger one. red found a school so I'm gonna try not to scare him too much this might be a black gun actually I think we got one I think we finally got a black drum take my phone out of my pocket here real quick might be a red no I think it's a black drum Kind of hooked on a spin. Come on, buddy. Finally got that stool of black drum to eat. Come on, buddy. It's a good sized black drum. It's not a bad black drum at all. On the 1K? <laughs> Come on. Come on, buddy. Get you, let's get you in. Get you unhooked and get you down. Super simple. This is a good sized black drum. That's why I love having that mini mole tied up. And then this thumper tied up as well. It's like these two baits can literally crush anything. Fighting him on a little seven foot 1K, a 40 pound leader. So I'm not like dogging him in right now. He should start to come soon. Come on, big guy. Yeah, they just fight so hard in here. So stoked we got one of these drum to eat. They fight so hard. It's a good sized black drum too. They fight so hard. Oh yeah. Tanker. I don't even know. I don't know if he ate it. I, I mean, I think he ate it. But it's kind of side hooked on him right now. There we go. Not bad. You see. I don't really know if he ate it, but it's kind of hooked on the corner right there. Let's go ahead and get that unhooked. Just drumming away. Beautiful black drum. Super nice. Let's go ahead and turn him around. Like that, just like that. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Two redfish, a nice jack, and we finally got a drum. Let's get it. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Back on the paddleboard from that drum, and there's a fish. Looks like a redfish. Come on, recast, recast. Oh no, did you see me already? Nope. Big red. Big red. On the 1K. Hopped out of the paddleboard so he doesn't take me anywhere. Nice size redfish. Let's go. On the 1K. Slurp the thumper shrimp. Just got back on the paddle board after releasing that drum. This guy was just coming right at me. He clapped it. Let's go, boys. We are on him today. 
<laughs> Let's go. Yes, I love that one, Kay. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a big red. I think he just figured out he was hooked. He's gonna spool me on the 1K, so we gotta go. Oh. It's a big red. Took a lot of the line out on the 1K. So I'm gonna catch up to him real quick. Take care of him. I think it's another like 35, 30 inch red. But not bad at all. Not bad at all. Come on, big guy. Come on. Come on. Make it easy for me. Come on in, just turn that head. Gonna fight him super light. Made a very, very big run. So that pretty much should be it. But this is a big red. Super nice to come out here on the paddleboard, smoke a few fish. Really good sized fish at that. Nice red. Nice red. Come on, don't pull that hook, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come here. I know you're done. I know you're done. Woo. Nice size red fish. Maybe bigger than the first one. Not sure. Let's go ahead and get this nice little 32 released. Kept her in the water for a good bit of time. So she should be ready to go. Oh yeah, she's ready. Let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna do a little midday update here after catching that black drum, the nice little redfish. We're basically at the turnaround, turnaround point where we kind of have to go back to the truck now. I think we've gone around like five to 10 miles. Nothing too crazy, but it's definitely, definitely hot. It's very hot and it feels very good to be standing in this water right now. I wanted to do like a little show of the paddleboard that we're using. It's nothing crazy. It's a simple little stand-up paddleboard, not fancy. I believe the brand is called Surf Tech. I'm not exactly sure who they are, but we just have three simple things. We got a little milk crate with miscellaneous things in it. Got my Yeti with most of my camera gear in it. And then of course the Yeti Panga with all of our fishing gear in it as well. Super simple, nothing crazy. You do not need a boat or anything to catch fish. Um, you really just need your two feet, let alone your two hands. Uh, maybe even one hand, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe no hands, who knows. It's nice just to come out on something different and still stick and still be able to stick a bunch of fish. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, please do hit that like button as it does help us out a lot. Let's go catch some more fish. That was so sick. <laughs> just saw this little red just cruising. I pitched the mini mullet to it and he just crushed it. Whoa. Come on now. That was so sick. I was right next to the paddle board. Just trying to let him tire himself out real quick. I go to grab him. Super sick.
tiny little red. Nice little like 20, maybe 17 incher. Woo! Crushed it. Let's go. Alright guys, well that is going to go ahead and do it for today's video. It is a scorching outside, so I'm uh, pretty close back to the truck. Just going to kind of beeline it there and kind of head home. All in all, it was a great day out in the water. Super fun day to throw out the paddleboard. Low winds in the morning, but they did pick up uh, here towards the afternoon, so it does kind of suck. But early in the morning, we were able to see pretty much every single fish that was out here on the flat. We ended up sticking that 35 inch uh, on the mini mullet super early in the morning. And we got a nice black drum, a couple jacks, um, a couple more reds, a nice 32 inch, and another nice little rat. Unfortunately, no snooter today. That's what I was really going for, but I didn't see as many as I thought I would. Still a super fun day to come out here and pluck a bunch of fish on the paddleboard. I haven't really taken the paddleboard out like this before, and uh, it's definitely challenging being towed around like that. Like you just have no say in what's going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video, please do hit that like button. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.